Hello and welcome to the NICU, the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. My name is Dr. Stephanie Rogers and I'm the medical director of this unit, which takes care of premature and sick newborns. I'm sorry you're at risk for early delivery or delivery with an expected NICU admission. I can assure you that our dedicated staff will give your baby the absolute best care possible. I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you what to expect and hopefully set your mind at ease. In the NICU, we have an entire team devoted to the care of your baby. Everything from doctors and nurses to lactation counselors and even a family support specialist. Everyone is here to give your baby the best care, but the most important person in the team caring for your baby is you. When your baby is born, our primary focus is stabilization. We want mom and baby to be together as soon as possible, but sometimes they need to be apart due to their individual medical needs. We have a team on standby 24 hours a day to ensure that your baby has stable breathing, temperatures, and blood sugars right after birth. Once your baby is admitted to the NICU, things may look a little different from what you expected. Sometimes babies need support to help them breathe, which may involve different types of equipment. It may be something like a ventilator that can fully support their breathing, or it may be CPAP, which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. This helps deliver pressure and oxygen to open up little lungs. Almost all NICU babies struggle to maintain their temperature. We help them by wrapping them tight and using heated and humidified beds. We call them incubators or warmers. All babies in the NICU will be on monitors. The monitor measures their heart rate, breathing, and oxygen levels. Be aware that these monitors beep a lot, but that's so we can check on your baby and help them if needed. We can also see the monitor outside the room, so we're always watching to make sure they're safe. The beeping can feel a little overwhelming at first, but we'll help you understand what each beep means. Many babies will need an IV to provide nutrition and medicine. Most babies in the NICU need a feeding tube, which is a tube that goes in through the mouth or nose and ends in the stomach. Ultimately, you are the most important person on your baby's care team. Our goal is to keep you with your baby. However, immediately after delivery, there may be some separation. It's important that we meet the needs of both you and your baby during this time. Parents or up to two caregivers can be present 24 hours a day. Traditionally, we allow other healthy family members like siblings or grandparents to visit at the discretion of the parents. But we sometimes have to alter that policy during influenza or COVID times. Rest assured, we will make sure you're up to date on the latest policies. NICU babies can be quickly overwhelmed. While you're at the bedside, we strongly encourage skin-to-skin -skin care and touching when appropriate, but especially when your baby is awake and getting a diaper change. Skin-to-skin -skin care, also called kangaroo care, is simple but very rewarding. It helps promote brain development, maintain heat, and helps your baby's immune system. We'll teach you more after your baby is born. We strongly encourage breastfeeding but it may look a little different than you expected. When babies are born early, they're not ready to suck, swallow, and breathe at the same time, and often don't have the endurance to take in the milk they need to grow. This is a skill they will develop over time, but your milk is invaluable to keeping them healthy. You will likely need to pump your breast milk to establish and maintain a supply until your baby is ready to nurse completely. The earlier you start pumping after delivery, the more successful you will be at building a good supply for your baby. But if your supply is still developing or you're struggling, we recommend pasteurized donated milk to support you and your baby. The NICU can be very exciting at the beginning as we help stabilize your baby, but it quickly becomes a calm and intimate space that allows you a chance to really bond with your baby. This low key part surprises families, but much of a baby's stay is typically spent feeding and growing. Remember, premature babies don't have a coordinated suck, swallow and breathe, or the energy to take in their feedings by mouth. This is a developmental skill that takes time 
and can often take up until your baby's due date to fully develop. Typically, your baby's ready for discharge when they learn to eat, can gain weight, are breathing on their own, are maintaining their temperature, and can safely fit in a car seat. Each baby is different and we'll send them home as soon as they are ready. We'll make sure you're ready too. I hope this helps you understand what to expect when your baby is admitted to the NICU. We expect lots of questions and uncertainty, but we're here to help you and your baby succeed. Please feel free to contact any of us about questions or concerns you may have.